Okay, so the first time I ever swam in a relay, I was like four, and I was starting the relay, and then my friend, we both heard the buzzer, so we both went at the same time. So we met up like halfway, and we both swam to the wall together, and then we didn't realize what was going on, so we swam all the way back, and we swam like a full relay. It took us like 10 minutes, but we figured out the whole that? relay. <laughs> When I first started swimming, my breaststroke was so bad. I had to have rope tied around my knees and with these special breaststroke fins and even then I still couldn't do it. It was so bad. <laughs> when I was really young, I had to swim a 200 free for the first time against kids five years older than me. And I didn't, uh, I DQ'd because I missed the wall and I was an entire hundred behind. <laughs> <laughs> Try and stand still too. Okay, so one of my first times swimming competitively, uh, I was in a relay and uh, the other t uh, people we were racing against were like half a lane or half a, a lap ahead of us. So I got scared and I dove in and landed on the person who was coming in. Okay, so when I was younger, maybe like seven or eight, I was getting out of the pool and I slipped and chipped my tooth. And then maybe like a month later, another swimmer while we were at practice, kicked me in that same tooth and broke the tooth again. <laughs> so when I first started swimming, I didn't realize what the difference between an injury and what swimming pain was until a couple <laughs> years later. So I wouldn't go to practice most of the time because I thought I was injured. And then this one day, I slipped and fell and I bruised my butt. <laughs> <laughs> So at my first swim practice ever, at the end, we did back push because Coach Peter loves back push. And I had no idea how to do back push, and I just got stuck onto the water and got run over by everyone the whole time. <laughs> when I was really little and I was swimming fly for the first time, all I could think of while I was swimming was to not drown. Okay, <laughs> so I started swimming summer team when I was four, but I lived in Baltimore, and then when I was seven, I started swimming summer team for Bel Air, but the rules were a little bit different than Baltimore, so when I did my first 25 backstroke summer swim, my mom was standing at the end of my lane, and she like put her hand down to make sure I didn't hit my head on the wall, and an official yelled at her, and guess who it happened to be? Becca Stan! <laughs> On my first race ever when I was nine years old, when I first started swimming, summer, it was a 50 freestyle, and I was swimming and swimming and swimming, and it felt like the longest lap of my life. Then I flip turned, and it was like a great flip turn. I could feel like a lot of momentum, and I pushed off the wall, and I kept swimming, and I touched the wall, and it felt like the longest 50 ever, and when I came out, Everyone was like, wow, that was the best flip turn ever. Like, way to go, that was awesome. So then later that night, I looked on my mom's phone because she videotaped it, and you couldn't see my flip turn because an old lady was in the way. <laughs> Make sure your head doesn't hit the wall because it hurts. <laughs> Make sure you do three three when Coach Peter tells you to because it never goes away. Make sure you know your backstroke stroke count perfectly because if you do too many, you end up taking your feet and like hitting them on this part and it really hurts when one of your best friends is doing something like really funny you're gonna laugh and choke so try to learn not to do that if it doesn't hurt you're not doing it right okay so don't worry about the other swimmers that are racing you just worry about yourself because it will help you go faster choke. <laughs> always listen to your coach and the details he gives you and don't leave late <laughs> Make sure you pay attention to keep team culture because in the end it helps a lot. And make sure that you're pushing yourself to your limits because that's when you really improve. Make sure you do your details so Coach Peter doesn't yell at you. <laughs> Don't get too upset or worked up if you get disqualified because everyone does it and it means you're trying new things. Just learn from it. <laughs> Hard times either in swimming or out and you're just going to need to keep pushing through it because you can't give up. You need to find yourself a best friend to keep you going. <laughs> that swagalicious. <laughs> the first time I had to do 200 fly, it was quite an event. 
I was so scared and I cried to my mom for hours and I went to my coach Jack and I was like do I really have to swim it and then I was <laughs> I was really scared and I told my mom I was gonna go hide in the bathroom but then my coach Jack calmed me down and he told me to get in the cool down pool and swim a little bit of fly so the way I interpreted that is I should just swim more than a 200 fly so I knew what it felt like so I got in the cool down pool and I did a 300 fly for warm up and then I went behind the blocks and I was nice and relaxed even though beforehand I had been crying and freaking out and I dove in with a heat full of my teammates and <laughs> swam it and I survived and now 200 fly is my favorite event. I'm 200 fly, I puked all over my mom who was timing so she had to take her shirt off and then I jumped up on the block and swam 200 fly with puke all over my suit. But the message is... <laughs> First 200 fly, it was Penn State. It was a rainy day, it was windy, and there was like this big current coming in. And then, so I went to dive in. I was like, oh my God, yes, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Okay, uh, 100, 100, here we go, okay. And then the third 50, I was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, and then the last 50, it was just literally like, kick, kick, <sighs> kick, kick. <gasps> and try not to die until I was like last, and it was, so there's going to be a lot of times that where you reach obstacles and you can't shut down and forget about them. You have to face them and you have to find your outlet to keep going. For example, mine was swimming. So don't be afraid to face your fears.